I'm quite tired and fat and lazy, and don't really want to play, I'm just going to irritate you. So she obviously was very comfortable till he arrived. And fortunately, no one fell out of the tree. Well, not yet, anyway. She looks like she wants to go back to her spot. <laughs> he, oh, Mr. Hosanna, such a clown. Bite out of my way. Why'd you take my spot? proper sibling rivalry, rivalry, because you have that spot, now I want it. I didn't want it, I wouldn't have wanted, unless you were in it. Oh, she's getting quite upset with him. Proper hissing. Most upset. Oh, oh, that's a very precarious branch, Shungile. I think she's deciding it might be better to come down the tree. Oh no, she's found a new spot to have a snooze. Now let's see how long it takes the troublemaker, Hosanna, to decide that he wants that spot now that he's disposed, uh, deposed her from her last spot. Introduce her. That is a nice shot. Pity about. Imagine blue sky behind that. Isn't that beautiful? She is exquisite. And the sky is starting to break up. You can see a little bit of blue sky. Well, we've had the most incredible little patch of sibling rivalry. Young Hosanna has deposed Shongile from her spot in the tree, and she's managed to move a little bit lower by leaping over him, and she's now lying looking right at us. And uh, he's sort of sitting in two minds. Well, should I go move my sister again? Now, there's no way he wanted to go up there. He just wanted it because his sister had it. Now, that is quite common. I'm sure a lot of you at home uh, who have kids will know uh, as soon as one has it, the other must have it, even though it had no interest before. Now, remember, we are live from South Africa in the Greater Kruger National Park on a Juma Private Game Reserve with the Royal Cubs, Hosanna and Shongile. Now, Shongile has found another 
comfortable spot to snooze. Look at that, isn't she absolutely gorgeous? And for those of you who might be wondering what her name means, Shongele means exquisitely beautiful. And that she is even with her tongue hanging out. And of course, Hosanna, the young prince is what his name means, or the young chief. He does not look very comfortable. Now, if we have a look at how comfortably Shongile is resting in the tree, Anthony was saying he thought leopards only slept in trees, not on the ground. Well, Anthony, it's actually the opposite. Most of the time, they will be sleeping on the ground rather than in a tree. Uh, generally, when it's very hot, they like to sleep in trees. It gives them a little bit more breeze and a bit of respite from all the biting flies that occur out here in the bushveld. Now, also, when they do have carcasses and they've taken their kills up into a tree, they will sometimes sleep near the carcass. But quite often, it's far more comfortable to sleep on the ground. Now, with cubs, it's a little bit different because they're quite a bit lighter than the adults. Uh, you do find them sleeping in trees more often uh, than the adults. And there's no steadfast rule in the African bush. Uh, the leopard will sleep where it wants to. Oh, here comes trouble. Is he going to move? Is he going to try and move his sister again? Because he cannot be comfortable in that position, specifically with that large bulging belly. It's always funny seeing a big cat with a big belly. And they're always portrayed as these lithe, sleek, killing machines. And then we get to see them from occasion when they've absolutely glutted themselves with a massive pot belly.